Tiger Woods has had a rough few years, but could he make a comeback? A lot of people are keeping their fingers crossed that he'll be able to turn things around, but I have some doubts. In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why Tiger Woods, the man once regarded as the greatest golfer in the world, will never be able to reclaim that title. Stay tuned to find out, and don't forget to chip in that subscribe button. Number 5. Consistency Issues Tiger Woods' expression as he walked off the 18th green said it all about what he's been through in the last 14 months. Tiger Woods is one of the world's most fiercely competitive athletes. Many people are wondering if he will ever be able to play golf again after his recent car accident. Tiger's career has never been the same since that accident. And the simple truth is that it will never reach the lofty heights that he once held. One of the main reasons Tiger will not return to the form that propelled him to the top of the world rankings for several years is his lack of consistency on the PGA Tour. Throughout 2012, the American finished in the top 5 three times, but he also finished 15th, 17th and now 40th. He may be taking steps forward in terms of consistency, but he is also taking steps backwards. Since that life-changing week in 2009, Woods has only finished in the top 5 in 10 tournaments, an average of 30%. For a man who once couldn't lose a tournament, 23 finishes outside the top 5 in 2 years is a drastic change from which he's never recovered. Woods may still win tournaments, as he so far has this year, but he will continue to struggle with consistency, preventing him from returning to his former self. Whether it's just one bad round or an entire bad tournament, Tiger's consistency issues are still alive and well, as he's demonstrated this year. During his prime, Woods was not known for being particularly friendly on the golf course, and he had many rivals throughout his career. After their messy breakup, he gave his ex-caddy, Steve Williams, the iconic death stare. Phil Mickelson has been one of Woods' main rivals, but the two appear to be closer than ever. Number 4. Emotional Issues He could be playing poorly, driving pathetically, and putting poorly, but he would always remain calm and bounce back into form. Even with everything that has happened in the last two years, Tiger has managed to put it all behind him and finish in the top 10 at the Masters. Not right now. The now-famous club-kicking incident perfectly captures Woods' frustration with his own inability to play consistent, quality golf. Tiger's frustration with errant drives and missed putts culminated in him kicking away his 9-iron in disgust, prompting commentator Nick Waldo to declare, I think we can safely say Tiger has lost his game and his mind. I'm not here to debate whether Tiger was justified in his on-course tantrum. What I'm saying is that it perfectly demonstrates that Tiger isn't as emotionally stable as he once was. Even after the round, with all of the cameras and media focus on him, you could almost hear frustration and exhaustion in his words. I'm certainly frustrated at times, and I apologize if I offended anyone, but I've made some bad shots, and it can be frustrating not to hit the ball where you want to. I was so close to finishing it today. I'm telling you, it was so close to being a really good round of golf. I just didn't take advantage of the opportunities that came my way. Woods continued, What irritates me is that I know what I should do, but I don't. I go out there and I don't trust everything. It doesn't take much, especially on a golf course like this. You're a yard or two off from here or there, which happened quite frequently. And the next thing you know, I'm 40, 50 feet away. The emotionally stable Tiger is simply missing, which is understandable given the pressure and expectation that he faces every time he hits the ball. However, Woods' emotional issues will continue to haunt him and prevent him from fully regaining his former self. Number 3. Accuracy Issues Coming into the Masters, Woods was ranked 1st in total driving and ninth in greens in regulation, prompting many to speculate that Tiger was back because he was back to his most accurate form. Woods struggled all weekend with driving and hitting accuracy. Tiger's numbers have deteriorated since the Masters, with him now ranking 36th in driving accuracy and 31st in greens in regulation percentage. Bubba Watson's miraculous shot on the second playoff hole proves that you can win tournaments despite hitting tee shots into the trees. But you can't do it as frequently as Woods has. Tiger won't be able to achieve the success he once had until he corrects his accuracy issues, which are most likely the result of his swing change, and he certainly won't be able to launch a successful comeback to the PGA Tour until he does. After winning eight majors, he changed his swing in 2002 because it wasn't perfect enough. He has since changed his swing several times, drawing criticism from the golf community. He took a chance in 2000 and switched to a solid core ball that no one else was using. 
It was used for the entire tour two years later. He won nine tournaments and all four majors in the year following his ball change. Once at the Masters, when Mickelson watched his woods, hit a three wood past his driver, he asked Woods if he always hit fairway woods so far. Fox Sports' Robert Lusitic said, no. Woods replied, pulling his tee from the ground and marching down the fairway, sometimes even further. Number 2. Par 5 Issues Looking back on the week, I played the par 5s horribly. This is a golf course where you simply must dominate the par 5s, which I did not do this week. In the past, Woods would simply shine at Augusta, especially on the par 5 holes, where he would frequently show his true class over the field. However, the par 5 dominance is no longer present, nor has it been all year. His par 5 average for the year is just 4.51, placing him 82nd on the PGA Tour in a category he once dominated. In 2011, he was ranked 181st, averaging 4.59 per hole. Woods isn't dominating the holes where he should be, and as a result, he can't catch up to the rest of the field. Tiger will never be able to regain his former skill and prowess without his usual par 5 birdies. Number 1. Health Issues The final major reason Tiger will never regain his former form is his health, which may seem strange given his 2008 US Open victory with a broken leg. But keep in mind that Woods isn't getting any younger, and at 36, he's only 10 years away from becoming the oldest player to win a major. With niggling injuries, Tiger may have only 30-odd genuine chances of winning another major title and proving to everyone that he's made a genuine comeback. Tiger has had ACL, tibia, Achilles tendon, ankle, neck, and calf injuries throughout his illustrious career, and one can only speculate how long it will be before these injuries catch up with him. Whether or not the newly formed world number one requires additional surgery in the future, his history of injuries will haunt him as he ages, and his body physically doesn't respond as well as it used to. Tiger Woods, with his consistency, emotional accuracy, and par 5 issues, will never make a full comeback and will never return to the golfing prowess for which he should be known and remembered. When Woods returned to golf after an injury in 2015, he told Ailing Times, Competing is still the same. I'm attempting to outperform everyone else. This is still the case. I'm preparing to win and expect to do so. The only distinction is that I won the Masters while Jordan was still in diapers. Woods reportedly cursed himself out in the bathroom in private after two straight bogeys at the 2019 Masters, where he won his 15th major and proved he was finally back. He then came back to win the green jacket. When Tiger is on the field, the game changes. TV ratings have increased by more than 20% compared to the last year's Masters. The cameras adore him so much that CBS broadcast the entire walk from the 18th green to Butler Cabin Live. Despite the fact that the tournament leaders, Scheffler and Cameron Smith, were on the first green at the time. Woods spent three months in the hospital with horrific leg injuries after a single vehicle rollover last year before beginning his rehabilitation. The man, who has incredible self-confidence, admitted he couldn't imagine ever swinging a golf club again. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you again with another interesting video.